Hello, uh, Happy New Year. Um, now we're back in lockdown again. I uh, thought I'd do a quick video from the shed. As you can see, it's a bit cold in here. But never mind, we'll crack on anyway. Um, I got asked about uh, what elastics I use this time of year um, from the midi range. Uh, I basically do most of my fishing just with the, the, the solid elastics or the high vis in this case. Uh, starting off with the, one of the lightest ones that I use, just the 3 to 4. Basically just use that for if I'm just catching small roach and stuff or on canals when you've got a shepy pole back at weird angles and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> Pretty good elastic for that. Going up from that is the four to six. I use that for um, more or less roach skimmers and possibly one or two bream and that will come into effect the four to six or if I'm using heavier floats because obviously with a heavier weight you've got to uh, give it a bit more oomph when you're striking and then probably one of my favorite ones uh, is the six to eight um, I'll use that for anything really um, from it's soft enough to catch your roach and your bream and your skimmers you can also land tench on it I've actually landed carp on that one as well uh, excuse the rain <laughs> can't turn that off yeah that's, that's one of my favorite ones um, I even use that one doubled up for when I'm fishing for a uh, medium-sized carp. <clears throat> well, I, sometimes I will use some of the other ones doubled up, like the three to four. I like using that doubled as well, especially when I'm on uh, bream and small skimmers and stuff. Then you, you don't really bump any fish off using that. Uh, the next one, this is one I use for uh, winter time for carping. It's the eight to ten. This is the old spool. Obviously, these are the new packets now. Uh, lost count of me carp I've caught on this, uh, the 8 to 10. I prefer the uh, solids to um, some of the hollow elastics because it doesn't stretch as far. You've got more control over the fish. So if you're fishing in like relatively snaggy swims or something, then obviously the, the elastic will only stretch so far, and that's it, the fish has got to give up. Um, whereas with uh, <clears throat> hollow elastics will just keep stretching and stretching and stretching and you end up losing fish in snags most of the time. On that subject uh, there's the, the 10 to 12, it's probably the heaviest um, <clears throat> solid I use. Also that's just for like bigger size carp uh, up to I don't know, 5, 6, 7, 8 pound probably. No problems at all with that. I mean I, if I'm going for bigger fish than that I, I might use the, the next one up which is the 14 to 16 <clears throat> but generally I'll swap over to the heavier um, uh, reactor core elastic for that just to give me a bit more backup because um, obviously if they do bolt off you need to be able to follow the fish out which you can't really do with uh, solids because obviously if it, if it bottoms out and you're not quick enough you end up breaking your rig or even worse your pole uh, it's, it's, it's a fine line between the two, but um, like I said, I normally just stick to the free lighter versions. <clears throat> normally deals with every uh, sort of winter fishing that I do. Uh, I'll do another video on the reactor core uh, <clears throat> elastics, because obviously that's a completely different subject then. Cause, uh, it's a lot more stretchier and you can do a lot more with it, I suppose. But generally, in the winter, when the fish are a bit slow and they don't really fight that hard, I just stick to the solids. It's a lot easier. All right, um, hopefully, uh, we're back on the bank again soon. Um, <clears throat> until then, I'll just keep doing bits and pieces in here. If you've got any other questions, just pop a link, a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Bye, lines.